Namaste. If you are suffering from a chronic back pain or weakness in the lower back because of too much sitting or even standing, then this practice video is definitely for you. And I can promise you that you will overcome your back pain if you can practice this sequence at least thrice a week. But before going into the practice, please make sure to read the disclaimer. Keeping that in the back of the mind, we will begin the practice. Today's practice will be mainly about lying down once. So you can turn around, lie down on your back. We'll start with simple pelvic tilting practice. Bend your legs at the knees, your feet on the floor. Your arms can be resting next to your body. Bring your awareness to your lower back. Exhaling, simply press your lower back to the ground. Inhaling, relax that. Exhaling, press your lower back to the ground. Inhaling, relax. Exhale, press it to the ground. Notice your pelvis tilting to a neutral position. Inhaling, relax. Two more of that, exhaling, press the lower back to the ground. Inhaling, relax. Last one, we're going to hold it. Exhaling, press it to the ground. Continue breathing, but hold the practice. Breathe. One. Notice how your abdomen is squeezing. Two. Keep the breath gentle. Three. Keep pressing the lower back. Four. And five, inhaling, slowly release the lower back. Take few seconds here. Notice the changes around your abdomen, your lower back. Once your awareness settles down, we'll move on to the next practice, single leg raising. So stretch your right leg in the front. Stretch your toes outwards. Pull up the kneecap. Tighten your thighs. Make an effort to maintain your legs straight as much as possible. So inhaling, slowly lift your legs straight up, either 90 degrees or more towards your body. And make sure to keep the leg straight. Whenever your leg is up in the air, keep pressing the lower back to the ground. Exhaling, slowly release the leg down. Four more rounds of that. Inhaling, lift your leg up. Press the lower back to the ground. Exhaling, release down. Sink your body movement with the breathing. Inhaling, slowly lift it up. Press the lower back to the ground. Exhaling, release down. Last two of that. Inhaling, slowly lift your leg up. Press the lower back. Exhaling, release down. We're gonna go last one and hold it there. Inhaling, slowly lift the leg up. Press the lower back down. Continue breathing. Hold it for one, two. Keep pulling up the kneecap, engaging your thigh. Three, see if you can press the back of the neck towards the floor. Four, and five, exhaling slowly, release your leg down and then bend it at the knee, pause for a few seconds. See if you can notice the difference between your legs, both sides of your lower back, maybe your hips as well. Few seconds here and we're gonna balance that sensation by practicing the same on the other side. Stretch your left leg out Left toes pointing forward, pull up the kneecap, engage your thigh. Inhaling slowly, lift the leg straight up, either 90 degrees or more towards the floor, towards the body. Make an effort to keep the leg straight. Exhaling, release it down. Remember at any point of time, any discomfort, feel free to take the practice easy. Lift up for second round. 
exhale release down we are taking the help of the other leg so that there is no too much strain on the lower back inhaling slowly lift up three so you can take the uh, help of the other leg by pressing that foot firm on the ground every time you're lifting up exhale release down two more rounds of that inhale slowly lift up keep pressing the lower back exhale release down and the last one we're gonna hold it there inhale lift up press the lower back down press the back of the neck to the floor breathe one two three the more you press the lower back the more squeezing you will feel you're in your abdomen four and five exhaling slowly release it down and bend the leg at the knee and pause for a few seconds once again notice the changes take few seconds here then we're gonna go for alternate leg adduction or twisting partial twisting of the lower part of the body for this you widen your feet slightly outside the hip line widen your knees as well your knees will be parallel to each other interlock your palms and stretch them out towards the ceiling along the floor rest them if you want to now exhaling slowly release your right knee in as much as you can no need to force it down to the ground you just release it in Notice where you can feel the stretch, either along the thigh or outside of the thigh, hip and maybe a little on the lower back. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release your left knee in. No need to force the knee down to the ground from the very first round, take it easy. Inhale, center, we are going four more. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, center. Exhaling, left knee down. Inhale, center. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, center. Exhaling, left knee down. Inhale, center. Continue for two more rounds. Notice the sensations as in when you're dropping the knee down. Notice the sensations. Try to sync the movement with the breathing. Keep your awareness on your body. We're going for the last one and we're gonna hold it there. Exhaling, drop your right knee down. Stay and breathe. One. Make sure you're not feeling any strenuous sensation or painful or burning sensation on your knees. Two, it's not the place to be feeling this practice. So in case you're feeling there, feel free to step back a little. Three, you're only holding the practice or the posture. Continue breathing. Four. And five, inhaling, come back to center. Exhaling, drop your left knee down. We're going to stay here and breathe. One, two, without straining your knees, try to drop them down towards the ground. Four, as much closely as possible. And five, inhaling slowly, come back to center. Bring your legs back to neutral position. Release your arms next to your body. Pause here for a few seconds. We have one last practice here, lying on the back. It's called bridge rolling practice. It's a movement version of Setu Bandhasana. For this, you draw your heels as much close to your hips as you can. Keep your feet apart, hip width distance, and your knees are in line with your ankles so that you and your knees will be parallel to each other. Arms next to your body, palms facing down. Now, 
throughout the practice try to press the three corners of your feet to the ground that is the base of the big toe and the base of the little toe and the center of your heel try to visualize or try to locate those three points and press them firmly to the ground now pressing your feet into the floor inhaling slowly lift your hips off now when your hip is up in the air make sure to press the inner and outer edge of the feet firm on the ground your knee should not be dropping in don't have to force your hip too high whatever comes naturally explore that range exhaling slowly release down when you're up in the air try to feel the sensation along your thigh as well as your hips inhaling slowly press on to your feet lift your hips up make sure the knees are not falling in or out they are parallel to each other keep squeezing your hips exhaling release down three more of that inhale slowly lift up whenever your hip is up in the air try to press the back of the neck to the floor use your feet to keep pushing the floor away from you if you're feeling it on your lower back you can squeeze your hips more actively exhaling slowly release down last two of that inhaling press on to your feet lift your hips up notice the squeezing of your glutes if there is anywhere you are feeling sensation acknowledge that exhale release down we're going for last round here we're going to hold it for eight eight breaths inhaling press on to your feet lift your hips up breathe one use your feet to push the floor away from you two once again make sure there is no painful sensation on your knees three keep squeezing your buttocks four five you're only holding the posture continue breathing six notice which part of the feet taking the weight seven and eight excellent exhaling slowly lower your hip down pause for few seconds here notice the sensations especially around your hips and thighs you stretch your legs in the front and relax for few seconds notice the changes in the lower body remember all these are very basic practices but very effective ones the more you do regularly the better the benefits are you'll gradually go on strengthening your hips and then slowly turn around lie down on one side we are going for side faced practices so lie down facing towards me to begin with make sure to keep the entire body in one straight line you can adjust yourself try to keep your ankles your hips and your shoulders in one line the other palm will be resting in front of your chest for the support the toes will be pointing towards you we're going to start with side leg raising remember the toes will be pointing towards you and that should stay like that throughout the practice Now inhaling slowly lift your leg up the top leg up as high as you can try not to turn the toes out i know if you do that you will be able to lift up higher but that's not the target that's not the intention intention is to target the side glutes so keep your toes pointing down think of lifting your heel upwards towards the ceiling so okay if you're not able to lift the leg too high exhaling slowly release down if it if the balance is challenging feel free to fold the lower leg inhaling slowly lift the leg up out from the side 
you will feel it on the side of your buttock or the glute exhale release down inhale lift up 3 exhale release down inhale lift up 4 exhale release down last one inhale lift up 5 we are gonna stay here breathe 1 try to push your heel up towards the ceiling 2 you might not be able to move it much but the effort itself counts 3 notice your side glutes engaging four you'll start to feel the firing of the muscle and five exhaling slowly release down bend your legs at the knee pause for few seconds notice the sensations on the sides of the glutes maybe along the side of the thigh as well outside of the thigh we're going to do the same lifting but from the front direction so stretch the leg straight and then slide it out towards front of you as much up high as you can keep the other leg bent so that you know the practice can target only this part of the body and it is easier effortless but take the palm support inhaling slowly lift the leg up as high off the ground as you can exhaling release down whenever your leg is up in the air you will feel it all along this region but if apart from that anywhere else then take the practice easy inhaling lift up two off the ground try to hold the leg straight exhale down three more round, rounds of that inhale lift up three exhale down any sort of trembling is very natural don't worry about that inhaling four if you feel shaky that's okay continue to breathe exhale down last one inhaling five we're gonna hold it here breathe strong one two even if you feel like dropping down and even if you end up dropping down come back up three it's okay keep breathing four and five <laughs> exhaling release down and slowly release the leg and try to stretch the leg all the way back you can touch the big toe to the ground keep stretching it as much towards the back as you can see if you can maintain the leg straight breathe here one So as your leg continues to push back, let your stomach face forward, three, eventually you will end up feeling a stretch sensation along the tummy and the thigh of the leg, four, you might also feel some sensation on the lower back of the same side, and five, exhaling slowly come back to center and bend the leg at the knee pause for a few seconds once the sensation subside we're gonna go for the same practice on the other side I'm gonna just come up and turn around to the other side so that I'm still facing you now once again prepare your entire body let it be in one straight line take the palm support we're going to start with side leg raising toes pointing towards you try to keep the top leg active feel free to fold the lower leg as in how you want inhaling slowly lift the leg up remember to keep rolling the foot down the heel points upwards you might not feel it in terms of movement but the more you do it the more it will target you will be reaching the target area that's your side glutes exhale release down inhale lift up two 
Keep pointing the heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release down. Inhaling, lift up three. Keep pointing the heel up. Exhale, release down. Two more of that. Inhale, lift up four. Notice the strong sensation in your glutes. Exhale, release down. Last one, inhaling, lift up five. We're gonna stay up here. Try to breathe through this. One, remember we are only holding the posture. The breathing should continue. Two, three, it's always natural to feel shaky or trembling. Four, And five, exhaling slowly, release the leg down. Bend the leg, relax for a few seconds. Once the sensation subside, we're gonna do the same on the front direction. So straighten the leg and slide it all the way towards the front of you. You don't have to come up all the way up come all the way up you can stay halfway as well but the idea is to keep the knee straight take the palm support inhaling slowly lift the leg straight off the ground as much as you can notice which part of the body engages when you're up in the air exhale release down ideally you will feel it all along this region we're going second round inhale lift up two Exhale, release down. Inhale, three. Exhale, down. Inhaling, four. Exhale, down. Last one, we are going to hold this. Inhaling, five. We are going to stay here and breathe. One. Breathe through the practice, very important. Two, keep breathing. Three, four, and five. Exhaling, slowly release down. No need to drop it down. And slowly bend the leg at the knee and try to stretch it all the way back, as much away from the body as you can. Try to keep the leg straight at the knee. We're going to stay here for eight. One, think of pushing your stomach out towards the front direction. Two, so that the stretch is targeting the front of your thigh and the squeezing is happening on the glute. Three, keep breathing. Four, five, Six, notice the sensation. Seven, you can always keep your eyes closed. And eight, inhaling slowly, come back to center. Bend the leg at the knee, pause for a few seconds. the third part of the practice is lying down on the stomach so slowly turn around lie down on your abdomen you can cross your forearms rest your forehead on the forearms your legs apart like in hip width distance pause here for a few seconds We're going to start with Sphinx to seal pose. So uh, Sphinx to seal movement. So come up on your elbows. This is Sphinx practice or Sphinx pose. Your elbows can be right under your shoulder. Keep your legs little inwards. Spread your fingers, grip onto your fingertips. Now press your palms into the floor. Inhaling, take your elbows off. Now, we don't want to sink into the shoulder this way. Try to keep pushing the ears away from the shoulders. 
Notice the sensation on your lower back, on your hips. Exhaling, lower your elbows. We're gonna go for four more of that. Inhaling, slowly lift your elbows up. Press your pelvis down to the ground. Keep your ears away from the shoulders. Exhale, release down. No need to hold the breath at any point. Continue breathing. Inhaling, lift your elbows off. Straightening your elbows. Try to push the floor away from you using your hands. Exhale, release down. Two more of that. Inhaling, slowly lift your elbow off. Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, release down. And the last one, breathing in, take the elbow off. We're gonna stay here for eight breaths. Breathe, one. Always feel free to come down, rest and then get back up again. Two, only if eight breath is challenging, you go for that. Keep breathing, three. If this seems very easy for you, try to lift your feet off. Four feet off the ground. Any spasm sensation on the lower back, release the feet down. Five. Keep breathing. Notice the strength on your lower back. Six. How your lower back, your hip, back of the thigh engages. Seven. Keep breathing and eight. Relax your feet down. Slowly lower down on your elbow. Bring your palms on top of each other. Slide your elbows and rest down. Pause for a few seconds here. Relax your glutes. Relax the back of the thigh. Notice the sensations. Once the sensations subside, stretch your arms in the front. We're gonna go for leg lifting practice or Shalabhasana, locust movement. So drop your, you can drop your forehead down or you can place your chin down. I usually prefer placing the forehead down. Whatever is more comfortable for you, you go for that variation. Keep your leg in, in hip width distance. Inhaling, lift your right leg up and left arm up. As high as you can. Just try to isolate the lifting movement only to your leg and arm. Exhale, release down. Inhaling, lift your left leg up, right arm up. Exhale down. We're gonna go for four more of that. Inhale, right leg up, left arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg up, right arm up. Exhaling down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down, inhale left leg up, exhale down, last two, right leg lift up, exhale down, left leg lift up, exhale down. One last, we're going to hold it here, right leg lift up. This time you can lift your chest and head up as well. Stay and breathe. One. Think of pressing the left side of the stomach on the ground. Two. Three. Breathe through the practice. Four. And five. Exhaling slowly. Release down. Same on the other side. Lift your left leg up, right arm up, chest and head up. 
breathe one two make an effort to press the right side of the stomach on the ground three four and five exhaling slowly release down cross your forearms rest your forehead on them we are going for the last practice here called scorpion stretch this is where you might feel end up feeling little extra restriction so make sure to take the practice easy no need to force yourself to reach anywhere as you continue the practice the practice will get better so stay with your body so stretch your left arm out to the side in line with your shoulder and bring your right palm next to your chest this is how it will look the right palm will look this way you can rest your forehead down on the ground bend your right leg at the knee inhaling slowly use your right palm to push the body away from the floor and try to place the right toes on the ground over on the left side exhaling slowly come back to center we are going for four more of that inhaling slowly open your hip toes touch down on the ground exhaling come back to center three more inhaling slowly open your hip toes touch down exhaling come back to center two more inhale slowly open your hip to exhaling slowly come back to center last two inhale slowly open up exhale come back to center on the last round we are going to stay there inhaling slowly open up you can turn your face to the right side as well let the toes touch to the ground stay here breathe one keep moving your right knee upwards and backwards two please do not force yourself to anything three you will stay where you are able to breathe comfortably four and five exhaling slowly come back to center release the leg down once again cross your forearms rest your forehead on the forearms pause for few seconds we're going to do the same thing on the other side stretch your right arm over towards the right side bring your left palm next to your chest turn over towards your left side bend your left leg at the knee inhaling slowly open your body towards the right side exhale come back to center inhale slowly open up touch the toes to the right side floor keep pushing the knee upwards and backwards as much as you can exhaling come back to center three more of that inhale slowly open up exhale come to center inhale open up exhale center on the last round we are going to hold it there inhale open up you can turn your head completely to the left side left toes touch the ground breathe here one keep pushing the knee upwards and backwards two three If there is any cramp sensation feel free to come out from the practice 
four and five exhaling slowly come back to center release the leg cross your forearms rest your forehead on the forearms pause here for a few seconds We are going to the last uh, phase of the practice. So turn around, lie down on your back. We'll go for some cooling down stretches. And then we will conclude the practice. You bend your legs at the knee, feet on the floor. We're going for hamstring stretch or uh, in a way sciatic nerve gliding. Keep your legs bent at the knee, your feet on the floor and then hug your right knee to the stomach. So you can grab hold of the back of the thigh, interlock your palms around the back of the thigh, press the lower back to the ground. This is the starting position. Maintain your thigh, whatever angle you see along your thigh, try to maintain that throughout the practice. Press the back of the neck to the ground. Now inhaling, make an effort to lift the foot up as high as you can. Once you reach the maximum, hold it there and point your toes down towards you. Lift your heel up, point the toes down, flexing your foot and then relax your foot, bend the leg at the knee. We go for three, two more of that. Inhaling slowly, straighten the leg as much as you can. Of course, the leg won't get straightened right away. So do as much as you can and then point your toes down, lift your heel up. Hold it here, notice the stretch along your hip, hamstring, maybe along your calves, calf as well. Relax the foot, bend the leg at the knee. Last round, we are going to hold it for eight. Inhaling, lift the leg up and then point your toes down. Begin to breathe here. One, press the back of the neck. Two, keep breathing. Three, four, notice that nice, beautiful stretch. Five, from your hip to the back of the heel. Six, learn to breathe through the stretch seven and eight you relax the foot bend the leg at the knee and release the foot down pause for a few seconds see if you can feel the difference on both sides on both legs you can also feel the difference in your hip and lower back as well last half of the practice on the other side hug your left knee to the stomach Press the lower back down, draw the thigh as much close to the stomach as you can and you maintain that position throughout. Inhaling slowly, lift the leg as much straight as you can first and then point your toes down towards you. And then relax the foot, bend the leg at the knee. Two more of that, inhale, lift the foot up and then point it down or flex it at the ankle. Hold, continue breathing. Relax the foot, bend the leg at the knee. Last one, inhaling slowly, lift up, toes point down. Keep pushing your heel up as much as you can. One, whether you feel it along the calf and heel or not depends on the uh, range of movement available at your ankle. Two, if you're not able to flex at the ankle too much, that's okay. Three, keep drawing your thigh to the stomach. Four, if you're feeling it along the hip and the hamstrings, that's actually good enough. Five, three more counts, breathe through the practice. Six. Seven. 
and eight. You relax the foot, bend the leg at the knee, release the foot down on the ground. Pause for a few seconds here, feeling, noticing the changes. We'll conclude the practice with Pavana Muktasana. Hug your knees to the chest. You can grip hold of the back of the thigh. If this is too easy, you can grip hold of the shin as well. Keep pressing the lower back to the ground. Keep pressing your thigh to the stomach. Let the entire back, including the back of the neck, press towards the floor. Pause for a few seconds here. Since your thighs will be pressing against the abdomen, naturally your breath will become shallow and that's okay. Try to breathe through it anyway. Then slowly roll side to side few times. Just across the spine, massaging your back against the floor. And you come back to center. Release the grip, feet on the floor and stretch your legs in the front. Rest in Shavasana. Remember, with this practice, you have started your journey of reversing your back pain. So if you want me to do a level two practice, then please comment level two to let us know and we will definitely make a video and share this video with your friends and colleagues and help them overcome their back pain as well. If you found this video helpful, then let us know by hitting that like button. Trust me, it will mean a lot to us and subscribe to our channel for more of such practice contents. Namaste.